How's it going everyone? My name is Roger. And I'm Maida. Welcome to Aaron Travels. So in today's video, we're going to share with you uh, must visit places in your California road trip. We actually road trip California for about 40 days, uh, more or less. And we spent $1,709 for both. Uh, I can give you the details at the end of the video. But now let's get started with the locations. All right, so the first location we recommend you to visit is Imperial Sand Dunes, located in Brawley, California. So when we were there, we actually kind of felt like in the Sahara Desert. The sand dunes have very extensive views. It's beautiful. It's actually really relaxing. And something I noticed uh, is that the sand at the sand dunes is really soft and fine, more than the sand at the beach. So I thought that was really interesting. So I recommend you to walk there barefoot if you can. And just a fun fact about this location, some uh, parts of some uh, movies were recorded here, like Jumanji, uh, Resident Evil, and also Kung Fu. Uh, and I always wanted to see sand dunes, so I highly recommend this location. Uh, another place you should definitely visit is the Hamilton Hot Springs. Uh, we found this place only because of our friends Sylvia and Mars. They live really close by, so they mentioned it to us. I'm glad they did because this place is completely beautiful. It's super clean. Um, the co-founders actually clean it once a week um, so you could enjoy it. If you go on the weekends, it's going to be most likely pretty full. It, we went throughout the weekday and um, we had a great time. Uh, we spend a week there. There's no bathrooms. There's none of that. So go prepared. We were camping in our camper van, so we were kind of equipped. Um, just make sure if you go there to bring, uh, you know, some type of bag so you can carry your trash out, whatever you bring in, try to bring it back out so we can keep the place clean. Um, down the street from this hot spring, there's also the, what is it called? Miracle Mile. M Miracle, Miracle Mile? Miracle Springs. <laughs> Miracle Springs. And both of these hot springs are only about 30 minutes away from Sequoia Park. Speaking of the Sequoia National Park, you gotta go see the third tallest tree in the world. That is a General Sherman tree, which is 275 feet tall and 36 uh, feet uh, wide. Uh, wide. So it's huge and actually a lot of trees here are really big. When you're there, you actually feel really tiny and it's beautiful to see those trees in person. So highly recommend you to go there. Another uh, thing that we recommend you to do in the Sequoia National Park is a motor rock hike. This is a beautiful hike, even though it's paved and it's mostly uh, steps. Uh, we went there on sunset and the views are just breathtaking so I highly recommend you to do the high if you're at the, at the park as well. So we recommend you to stay about three to six hours in the park. You need to drive from one location to, to another one. We had our van so we were like taking breaks eating in there. And also uh, the weather, when it's the best weather is, is, is believed to be from June to August. That's when you're gonna find the most pleasant weather. So just keep that in mind. Another place that we visited that we definitely recommend is Joshua Tree. I'm sure you heard about it. We got to spend some time at Garth's place in the Boulder Gardens. And um, it's, it was a really cool location. We spent a night here in our van. Um, we got to meet Garth and his friends. They're all great people. This is kind of a donation-based spot. There's actually places that you could sleep in, and I believe it's called per permaculture. Um, it's, you know, they kind of build uh, s small locations that don't affect the land so much and kind of look like it's part of the, of the land itself. And um, like I said, you could stay in some of these places. We toured one of the locations and it's beautiful, super well made, super artistic. Yeah. Um, we also got to take a quick dip in the swimming pool. We took a tour of the sauna and we got to hang out with Garth and his, and his friends. Everybody so welcome in and such a cool crowd. So if you have some time, make a quick stop there, uh, make a donation if you can and um, have a good time. Another place you should definitely visit is Pirate Cove Beach. Now this beach is closed optional, so beware, you might see a few nakeds running around, um, but it's a beautiful spot, a beautiful, beautiful beach. There's also a little cave right next to the entrance that's called the Smuggler's Cave, Smuggler's cave or Cove, and th this spot's pretty cool as well. You can see the beach on the other side of the cave, and a great spot to take pictures. 
great spots to, to watch the sun, sunset, stuff like that. You could actually go down on the beach um, through another area, um, but we decided to go to Pismo Beach and watch the sunset there, and we had a great time. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. It helps us out a ton. If you're liking it so far, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of travel guides to help you on your travels. So yes, see, thank you. Back to the video. And the next location that you must definitely include in your California road trip is San Diego, California. So Roger and I actually lived there for about seven uh, years. So we have a lot of recommendations. We don't have a lot of videos, but we have a lot of recommendations. So some of the ones that you must definitely go to are La Jolla Cove. Uh, we recommend you to snorkel there. The, the snorkel is really nice. Mm. And the beach is it's small, but it's really beautiful. Uh, we also recommend you to do a quick stop in the Chicano Park. This is a historical landmark under the Coronado Bridge. So definitely recommend you to visit. Also go to downtown. Uh, you're gonna find a really good Mexican food in there. And uh, if old you town, old, town, old town, I mean, yes, old town. Uh, I was already thinking about the party places. <laughs> uh, if you like to party or you know you're looking for a weekend location, definitely go to downtown. Also, Pacific Beach is really fun. That's actually where Roger and I met mm -hmm. in Pacific Beach. We lived in Ocean Beach, which we also recommend you to go there. Uh, every town it has uh, its own. Uh, ambience, environment, so it's really cool to see and experience. So go to Ocean Beach. Also, um, there's Mission Beach, uh, which is a different crowd and uh, it's, it's fun to visit. And uh, Roger used to surf, so where are the best surfing beaches uh, there? Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for surf, you'd make a stop at Black's Beach. Uh, also, uh, I guess Sunset Cliffs, that's one of our yes. favorite locations to watch sunsets. It's beautiful. Sunset Cliffs has great waves depending on the time you go. Um, and then you could surf at Scripps and PB, any other area if you're, you know, if you just want to make a quick dip in there. That's it. So yeah, so definitely go there. Um, if you're going there, if you're looking for like restaurant recommendations, ask us because we have a lot of recommendations for those. But don't, oh, and the best time to go, it's summer, the times are like July, August, September. Those are the best months to visit. I also want to recommend to make a quick stop in Temecula, California. This is a wine tasting city. That's the reason I thought we were going there, but Roger surprised me with a hot air balloon. It was a sunrise hot air balloon. It was $299 uh, per person. I think it's a little bit pricey because I'm a budget traveler, but I gotta admit that it was a really nice experience. I'm gonna leave you the website here uh, so you can find more details about this hot air balloon. Another place you should definitely not miss is going to check out the Hollywood sign, the famous Hollywood sign, but with a twist, hike up to it like we did. We hiked and you get to see it from up close. Uh, the, the hike is about 3.5 miles. Make sure you wear comfortable shoes, bring enough water, and it's a great experience to do. We also have a little video of the three hikes in California. I'm going to post it up here so you can see a little bit more detail about that hike. If you're in Hollywood, I also recommend it to do the Walk of Fame. Uh, it was fun walking around looking for our favorite star, so I recommend you to do the same. And only 50 minutes away from there, you can do this beautiful uh, hike. It's a waterfall paradise, so recommend it. All right, and the next location is a very unique location. Not a lot of people have been there. Uh, actually, from the people we know, I don't think nobody's been there. I'm talking about Catalina Island. So Catalina Island is nearby uh, Long Beach. And uh, we actually went from Dana Point uh, and we took a ferry to Catalina Island. It was $70 round trip for one person. We went on Roger's birthday. We don't have videos, but I have some pictures. And we uh, camp in Gulch camp for $60 a night. And it was really beautiful. One thing I remember is that we actually snorkel in the island. Um, we also experienced uh, a beautiful sky with stars. So highly recommend you the island. And uh, they also have a uh, bison in here that you can see. We didn't do the, the, the tour, but we highly recommend you. 
uh, to visit Catalina Island. I'm gonna leave you the link, I mean, I'm sorry, the website so you can find uh, more details on how to get there. If you're unable to stop at Catalina or go to Catalina Isla, I recommend you to make a quick stop to in Laguna Beach. Uh, this is a beautiful beach to watch a sunset. That's actually one of the main things I recommend you to do. One of the California beaches is to watch one of these beautiful sunsets. Uh, Roger and I used to go to Laguna Beach to play the ukulele and we'd just be there relaxing, uh, hearing the waves and watching the sunset. So highly recommend you this one and any beach in California to watch a beautiful sunset. Okay, another place that you must visit if you're in California is the famous Lake Tahoe. I'm sure you heard about it. It's a beautiful lake, blue water, completely clear and crystal clear. And uh, we use the iOverlander app to find free parking here. Uh, we were in our camper van once again. And um, the fact about Lake Tahoe is that it's both shared by California and Nevada. Um, so it's kind of split in, in the two locations. We have a video of Lake Tahoe with more detail. However, it was from Nevada side. It was there since. But it's the same there. lake. I mean, this is beautiful. Whatever you choose, but it's really close by. So yeah, yeah. So check that out. If you have some extra time, don't forget to make a quick stop at Salvation Mountain. Now, this is a a, a really amazing spot. It's uh, it's an art piece created with Adobe bricks and other materials. It was created by Leonard Knight. And we read uh, that uh, the Folk Art Society declared it a site worthy of preservation and protection, and I think it should be protected because it, 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 it is something to see. Um, we just made a quick stop there. Uh, it's, it's really close to Slab City. Um, there's some uh, retirees that we met out down in Baja, California that spent some time in Slab City. Um, so go ahead and check those spots out if you have some time. All right, another location we recommend you to, to uh, include in your California road trip is to stop in Santa Barbara. Uh, Santa Barbara has a beautiful beach, so definitely check it out. Um, we also uh, stop at the Mission in Santa Barbara. I don't know if you know this, but California has around 21 missions or so. We were not really into like the mission hunting or anything like that. However, um, Santa Barbara uh, downtown area we recommended. Uh, there was at that time we visited. There were some pianos. Roger got to practice a little bit, and it was fun. <laughs> it, uh, we actually watched this little girl who she was uh, like a pro. She was playing the piano, so that was fun. But one highlight uh, when we visited Santa Barbara is that there was a powwow. So a powwow is a indigenous. A ceremony where they have feasting, there is music, celebration, and we got to do to uh, go to this powwow for the first time. So it was really fun for us. We got to learn a little bit about the culture and just enjoy uh, the food and the music. So if you ever have the chance to go to a powwow, you have to like go. It, it, honestly, I, it, it was a highlight and it was really fun to see. Also make a quick stop in Venice Beach. Uh, there's something uh, always going on on the main street of Venice Beach. It's actually really fun just to walk around, uh, just taking a look at everything around there. That's what Roger and I did. However, uh, if you like to skate like Roger does, you're definitely gonna like this a uh, skate park in front of the beach. Uh, it's really fun even just to watch. I'm not a skater, but I had fun just watching everybody there. And it's just in front of the beach. It's a very unique place, perfect for skaters, so recommend it. Another place that you should visit is the capital of California, Sacramento. Myra actually lived there before, so she got to give me a tour of the town. We stopped at the Capitol building and they gave us a free tour. We got to learn a bit more about the history of California. Really interested, re really interesting. I recommend you to do that if you get a chance. Uh, we also visited the old town nearby. We met up with one of her uh, old classmates. He got to give us a tour. It was Halloween, so you're gonna see some kids. We were, there were some kids uh, trick or treating and stuff. Um, and uh, we, uh, you can also visit the American River if you're in the summer. You could do a water raft in there. We didn't do it. Myra have done it before. I've seen a yeah, ton of pictures. Yeah, it's fun. So I, in summer, it gets pretty hot in Sacramento. So highly recommend you to do the water rafting. So go check it out. 
If you're near Lompoc, I recommend you there to watch a rocket launching. We were actually passing by and some locals told us about this launching. They actually gather on this viewpoint and then Yeah, so this was our first time actually seeing a rocket uh, being launched. It was an amazing experience, very uh, thrilling. So I highly recommend it uh, to do it if you're in uh, near Lompoc. And I'm gonna leave the website here so you can check uh, the schedules for their next uh, rocket launching. And of course, we cannot forget the epic road trip in California, which is uh, the Big Sur road trip. So in Big Sur, in this road trip, you're gonna find some amazing views of the beach. It's really uh, beautiful just to drive and being in your car. Uh, but we made a quick stop at the famous McWay waterfall. So to get here, it's a really easy walk. Uh, to get to the viewpoint of the waterfall. Uh, it's beautiful to see because it's next to the beach. Uh, it's, it's small but beautiful. Uh, we wish we could go down there and like take a quick dip, but you can, it's just to see. Also on the road trip, um, of course, you must have heard about the Big, big Speed uh, Bridge. It, it's amazing. I, Roger and I made a quick stop. Uh, at that time, Roger was playing the ukulele. I was drinking tea, it was cold, so I remember that. <laughs> Um, and then and the road trip, we didn't stop there, but there is actually a castle, Hearts Castle. It's $20 the entrance. If anybody's interested, you, you can include it on your road trip if you have some time. We didn't, but I just wanted to give you that information. Also, on a road trip, we did a beautiful hike that Roger always remembers this hike. It's called Soberanes Trail. This hike, uh, actually our friend Julieta, she's the one that took us to this hike because we never done it before. It's beautiful, when you get to the top, you kind of feel like on um, the clouds because you have this beautiful view of the beach and you feel like above the clouds, so highly recommend it. And um, also, I used to live nearby in Castroville. This is like the artichoke place of the world if you want to try some artichokes. Uh, we have a place to recommend, there's a restaurant and uh, you should go and, and try some out. Another place that you should definitely make a stop at is the Pigeon Lighthouse. This lighthouse was built around 150 years ago to guide the shipmen uh, down the coast of California. Um, really cool to see. We made a quick stop there and it was worth it to us. I also recommend you to stop in Santa Cruz. So Roger is a surfer and winter has great waves here. Just uh, make sure that you have a whole suit because it's really cold, but it's really beautiful. In Santa Cruz, there's also the beach boardwalk. It's fun uh, in the summer. So if you're on the area, definitely go there for a quick stop. Another place that you cannot miss is Yosemite. Yosemite is the place where they have all the waterfalls and the beautiful hikes. We went with our friends Julieta and Keith. Um, you could actually camp here. You just have to really uh, book in advance because it gets full really quickly. Um, our friends uh, rented a cabin. We had our camper van, so we just stayed in our camper van over the nights. And um, it's an amazing place. We got to do a few hikes. So there's a ton of different hikes that you could do here in Yosemite. We did the Vern Vernal hike. Uh, this hike is a little difficult, so it's good for you to go prepared with hiking shoes. Uh, depending on which time you go, make sure you bring warm clothes. And um, when you reach the top of the waterfall, you can see it from the top, of course. You can see it uh, at the edge where it falls. Um, we went, or went around fall. If you go around uh, spring is where you, when you will see it at its full capacity. Um, we got to eat some good lunch up there that our friends made for us and I uh, just enjoyed the view. One tip about uh, doing the Californian hikes here in Yosemite is that they're really far in distance so there's actually like an internal bus that you can take uh, to go from one fall to the, uh, to the next. Also, uh, dogs are not permitted on the hikes. I don't know if you know this, but there's bears in Yosemite, so don't bring your pets on the hikes. Um, just wanted to mention that because I know a lot of people have pets and I think it's important to know. 
All right, and of course you must definitely make a quick stop at one of the epic cities of California, which is San Francisco. So in San Francisco, we recommend you to stop at the Palace Fine of Arts. And here is a free location. Um, you can go there. It's a beautiful place to take pictures. I would even recommend you to bring food and have like a picnic just to enjoy the view. Um, also, we recommend you to go to the uh, Lombard Street. This is the street you see on movies all the time. This is like the zigzag street. We actually parked the car. We walked down the street and just to see the view from the bottom of the street. And we also drove just to have that experience because it's really a zigzag street so it was kind of nice just driving there of course we, you have to drive through the golden bridge uh the san francisco bridge uh this time that we went we didn't do it because we already had gone there twice uh one quick tip about driving through the bridges in san, in san francisco is to bring cash if you don't have cash they're gonna send you the um the payment via mail so if you're just visiting uh, I think it's really important just to bring cash so you pay uh, the tolls so that was the US part of California but if you want to visit the whole California you have to do the Mexico side as well the Baja California and we also have a tip up here there's warm beaches down there there's a ton of stuff and that will complete your California journey <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned at the beginning, we spent $1,709 for both for about uh, 40 days road trip in California. So now I'm gonna tell you all the details so you can uh, better plan your road trip. So we spent $661 on gas, $603 on food, $225 on restaurants. We spent $22 on gym and this was because that was our main place to shower and stay clean yeah and that was planet fitness so it's it's a it's a great um yeah it's an affordable uh option if you're doing a road trip in a van if you're yeah. sleeping in it and stuff and also we recommend you to get the annual pass for the national parks they're 80 dollars otherwise you pay um around like 35 each so it's um, it's more convenient to just uh, pay the, the full pass for the whole year, which is uh, $80. Also, we spent uh, well, our $4.95 and $2 uh, on something else. So yeah, that's, that's how we spend our money. So hopefully this helps you better plan your road trip in California. If you have any questions about any of the locations, let us know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoy your road trip because it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, check out the other videos. We're gonna we have a few linked up here, but check out our channel. You can see a lot of other tips. Yeah. Um, so subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.